Okay, and I'm going to talk about this and try to keep my composure. But a man that is running for President of the United States, Donald Trump, just recently went to the gutter to filth against Vice President of the United States, Kamala Harris, who is running against him. What this man did should be disqualifying. He reposted on his Truth Social platform a post by another user with a photo of Hillary Clinton and Kamala Harris. And at the bottom, what it says is, funny how blowjobs impacted their careers differently. Okay? This is a man running for president. In times past, that would have been the end of his campaign. People in his own party would have thrown him out. But those times are gone. They're all just sniveling, spineless sycophants. But what I want to say to everyone out there that has decency, number one, is think of particularly black women and black men. Think of how long black women have been abused, raped during slavery, put upon, and even afterwards, if a man like Trump was around. He could talk and say all kind of filthy things about your wives, your girlfriend, your daughters, your mothers, and dare you to do anything about it. Because trying to do something about it may earn you a noose around your neck and have you swinging from a tree. We don't have to take that anymore, particularly from this man. Donald Trump is a deviant personality. He bragged about sexually assaulting women, grabbing them by their private parts. He was found liable for sexual assault in a department store dressing room. He's cheated on every wife he ever had. He slept with a porn star while his wife was at home with their newly born son. Times are different. We don't have to take this from Donald Trump anymore. We can do something about it. On November 5th, go out and vote for Kamala Harris and defeat him and leave him to the people that will take care of him. Fonnie Willis, Tish James, Alvin Bragg, Jack Smith, let the legal system mete out its punishment for Donald Trump. But we don't have to stand around and watch him disrespect a highly accomplished black woman just because he think he can and get away with it. Not anymore. This was so low that is so beneath the office of the President of the United States that he should be yanked off the scene and not even be allowed to compete. But we don't have that kind of country anymore. We don't have those kind of national morals anymore. Even so-called religious people, evangelicals, are sitting by ready to vote for this man as he engages in the lowest type of behavior you can imagine. So it's up to us, okay? And people that still have standards, that don't want their children seeing stuff like this and think that's a standard of behavior.
particularly from a president. And that's what you can do and still advance in this country. I just want to say, I knew it was coming. I didn't know it was coming this quickly or from such a low, filthy, dirty place. Let's kick Trump's behind on November 5th and get him off the scene.